What's up? It's your boy Cashman Brown, rep, revolutionary Cashman Brown, dead nigga, dead nigga with the glasses, Cashman Brown. Um, let's do this real quickly. Vlog two. This is yeah, vlog two of paid vacation. Let's do this real quickly. You can follow me on Instagram at Cashman Brown. Um, also I want you to follow me on Twitter at underscore Cashman Brown. Also go to www.soundcloud.com slash cashmere brown and you can probably pretty much google me just search up cashmere brown make sure you like comment sub the channel right here also i'm in a group called ftr ftr stands for friends that rap it's friends that rap follow us it consists of me myself cashmere brown and the icon bandits shouts out to frish there's one icon bandit. Shouts out to B Tree Rogers. That's one icon bandit. Us three coming together. That's LTR. We are friends there. Rep. Follow us on Instagram. Friends there. Rep. On Instagram. Friends there. Rep. Friends there. Rep. On Instagram. Friends there. Rep. On SoundCloud. Same with the SoundCloud too. Friends there. Rep. Search us up. We doing big things. Making a movement. Shouts out to Miles, that's my homie, so make sure you subscribe to him, Network Redeemer, youtube.com slash user slash Network Redeemer, follow him, follow him on Twitter, Miles All Smiles, that's Miles All Smiles, and make sure, and like I said, once again, I am Cashmere Brown, dead nigga, rep revolutionary, dead nigga with the glasses, Cashmere Brown, follow me, it's K-A-S, K-A-S, H M I R B R O W N. I almost forgot how to spell my own fucking name. But fuck all this shit. Fuck all this shit. I hope you hear the song in the background. It's by Icon Bandits. Call replays. Yeah, make sure you check them out. Like I said, once again, put it. Check them out. So you can find them on the Friends of Rap page. Now that we're on the discussion of music. Yeah. This song is basically about. Them thinking about, let me just turn it off. This song is basically about them replaying some good or bad memories back in their head, how things used to be. Yeah, that's a lot of thought process processing. That's how rap is, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lot of thought processing. So, with that being said, who the fuck, who the fuck is in charge of all these radios? Like, it's never a day I cannot go where I listen to K Camp, um, who else? Fucking Migos, fucking, fucking. I don't know them little kids' names. They'd be like, no flex zone. Who them little kids? Them little baby kids and um, fucking. Damn, where's a song that they play like every fucking day? It's mostly K Camp. I'm starting not to like Schoolboy Q because I hear him so much on the radio now. And that's like not even a good song. Like, for real. Seriously. It's kind of fucking annoying. Like, and I don't even like Drake's Believe Me or Trophies. I don't like it at all because I hear it so much. Every day. On the radio. All on repeat. I swear. You hear one hip hop station. Something to be on, I promise you, I kid you not, kid you not, I can hit one radio station, bam, I hear K-Camp, hit the other radio station, I hear K-Camp, I'm like, what the fuck, are y'all serious, are we serious right now, do they like pass CDs out, like, hey, we just got done playing K-Camp, you want to see, yeah, bro, give me this, like, they, like, it feels like the radios and mainstream show no love to, like, shouts out, okay, look, before I really get into this, Shouts out to the people who's on the radio, you're doing your thing, cool. But I'm just saying, most of you that's on the radio, a nigga, like just some ordinary nigga could literally stick a pencil up his ass and like write something totally better than what y'all are coming up with. Like, it's like no effort. It's no effort at all. And it'd be killing me. I'm be like, what the fuck is no effort in hip hop, rap? Nothing is no effort. No effort at all. It's like, seriously, long as they be bumping, you can say, man, I gotta take a shit. Fuck that bitch. Gotta take a shit. 
fuck that bitch. But long as it's on, it's on, it got a bump and beat, that's, that's top 40 in the billboards. I kid you not. It, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. I I swear, it just, it be killing me. So, recently, I signed up for uh, my hometown station. They had a little contest called 15 Seconds to Shine. I won it for Uncle Sam. Make sure you go check out Uncle Sam. It's on the page, on SoundCloud, blah, 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 blah. And, like, I'm over here thinking, yeah, I'm about to get on the radio. Nigga, I have not got played once. What the fuck? I'm over here saying, man, I did all this effort for, like, nothing, nigga. Like, what the fuck? I'm still hearing the same shit on the radio. And it just, I'm sorry, but it radio, it bugs me. It just bugs me. Nowadays, it takes zero effort. Zero effort. Zero. Zero, ladies and gentlemen. Zero. That's all it takes. To get on the radio nowadays, zero. It takes zero effort. But with a person with real talent, when real talent comes up, like, they have to go through fucking, the fucking, what's that thing called? That, that fucking temple that was on the old Nickelodeon channel with all that. They had to go through that fucking temple, whatever it was called. They had to go above and beyond. They got to jump out of, like, a jet just to get their shit played on the radio. I kid you not, me and my homie Fresh went up to a DJ, met him, and, you know, look, at the time, ladies and gentlemen, me and Fresh came up there what we had. We had on them CDs just some good music, and all we wanted to see could we work. I kid you not, I'm over here hitting this DJ up, and for some reason, I'm going to get on this too, DJs in Memphis, not saying all of you. Most of you, and this is coming from an artist standpoint, maybe another artist can agree with me. You fucking DJs act like y'all celebrities. Like, for real, like, what the fuck? I know a DJ's job is important, but y'all act like y'all celebrities. Like, this nigga telling me, I said, did you check out the CD? He was like, uh, yeah, you need to, it costs 30 cents to get your CD professionally duplicated, and, um... You definitely need to mix and master. Wait a minute, nigga. Wait, wait. Hold the phone. This nigga didn't give a word I was asking him. I asked this nigga, how was the music? Fuck. Fuck mixing and mastering. Fuck how this CD look. Nigga, how was the music? How was the lyrics? How was the flow? Because we killing everybody, you guys. So far, I'm just saying, tell me how that was. Tell me. Because I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. Tell me. So, like, and some other guy come in it and replied back to what um he was saying, and was basically like, "Let me school you on game." My this dude, my friend, he's not gonna pay you any attention if your CD don't look professional, nigga. I don't give a fuck if that nigga was your second cousin, first time removed, nigga. All I asked this nigga was, how was the music? Fuck the professional, like I think. That's what happened to hip hop and music and everything in general. We're so focused on business that we forgot about the music and what it's really about. Because it seems like nowadays it just be like music will come last. Fuck the music. Don't worry about the music. They'll come in time. Let's do this business first. Like, but we forgot. I think we got sidetracked about the music. We have totally forgot about the music. So. That's what be killing me nowadays. Like, what the fuck? We we totally forgot about that. And it's like no love for unsigned artists nowadays. It feels like the only love an unsigned artist can get is, okay, their unsigned artists can get some love. But the way they have to get love, they going to have to come out. They motherfucking pocket. I'm talking about deep in they pockets, nigga. Deep in they checks that they earn. Because more than like an unsigned artist, this nigga is working his ass off. He's actually probably really working. He's not in the trap. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me bring something else to you. To you. Not every rapper is in the trap. I'm going to just let you know. I'm going to be honest. Not every rapper is in the trap. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest. Not every rapper is not in the fucking trap. He is not selling drugs, ladies and gentlemen. 
I'm letting you know not every rapper sells drugs. I'm letting you know, the people know, not every rapper sells drugs. And if this nigga, if, look, it's only, you can't let these niggas lie to you every day. You can't, like, for real. Like, just because this nigga put it in a song and he sounds serious about it, don't mean he actually did it. What? I could say I own fucking Microsoft in the song and as long as I'm on a bump and beat and sound serious, you gonna believe me? Like, come on, don't believe, do not believe the hype. Not all these niggas are trapping out here. Most of these artists out here, and that's what these companies, A&Rs, DJs, and all these interesting people that's trying to get us to pay so much money to get out there don't realize Nigga, we got bills and shit. We got bills, nigga. We got bills. We got a life, nigga. Besides this rap shit, okay? It's some things that's gonna have to come first. Kids, nigga. Once again, bills. Bills is a bitch right now. I, I kid you not. Bills, nigga. And mostly of that check is going to bills. Niggas are struggling out here. You can't... And then... Then, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. These motherfuckers charging $300, $350 for a nigga to perform one song. And half the time, this $350 is going to go to a car note. I'm just letting you know, nigga. I'm not about to start mobbing outside. It is too motherfucking hard to be mobbing outside on these two legs right now. On these two legs, on these two legs, it is too hot for this. I'm sorry, I kid you. It's too hot for this. I'm rolling on four wheels in AC. I'm sorry. We gon' like s seriously. Somebody's gonna have to create a system for unsigned artists to work together and be able to get the exposure that we need because it's pointless. Why do you have to pay a car note for one to perform one song and the possibilities of you getting noticed, signed, played on the radio is like slim to none? Like who would want to take that? That is a big risk. Nigga, you going by fate, nigga, but that's a whole, you must have got a whole lot of fate. Because I'm telling you, you, you could be a good artist right now and perform one of your best songs, but a nigga come up there with a twerking song, and I bet you any type of money, they going to sign that nigga with a twerking song better than you. And let me get this straight, ladies and gentlemen. Niggas only make twerking songs. I'm going to be honest. This is what I feel. This is what I feel. Niggas only make twerking songs so they can get close to a girl's ass and some pussy. I, that's all I'm going to say on that. That's all I'm going to say. I'm, I hear too much of it. These other motherfuckers, they make twerking songs just to get close to the female. They know, man, we do this twerking song. We go to this party and twerking. These females going to be twerking. They, I, they only do it to get some ass. I'm sorry. That's just me. I'm sorry. I'm going to be honest. Y'all only do it to get some ass. And then it doesn't take no time to make a twerking song anyway. It's like, what, girl, shake that ass, shake that ass, shake that ass. What effort is that? What effort is that? You ain't telling no stories. You ain't talking about nothing real. Come on now. Come on. I can go on forever. But it's about to hit 15 minutes. So I'm going to get ready to cut this off. I'm going to just let y'all know something. I ain't gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna let it save it for episode three. Look, this one I'm gonna say. My name's Cashmere Brown. Dead nigga with the glasses. Dead nigga. Rep revolutionary Cashmere Brown. Follow me on Instagram. K A S H M I R B R O W N. Follow me on Instagram. Underscore Cashmere Brown for the Twitter. Follow me there. Respond to this. How you feel about this video? How you feel about the stuff I said? It's just opinions. Talk to in the comments. Like the video. Subscribe. Dislike if you want to dislike. I don't give a fuck. I'm still going to get noticed. So, yeah. Thank y'all. And I appreciate it.